Building your EAT plus CRX 925. What's in the box? Along with the bike, you will have pedals, toolkit, battery, and charger. Building your bike. Cut the cable ties on the front wheel to detach the wheel from the frame and put to one side. Cut the cable tie on the handlebar and move to the front of the bike. Cut the cable tie on the seat post to remove the saddle and put to one side. Use scissors to remove the packaging. Be careful not to cut any cables or scratch the paint. Attaching the handlebar. Remove the handlebar stem faceplate. Bring the handlebars up into position, making sure they are facing the right way and the cables aren't twisted. Then tighten the four bolts on the faceplate. But do not tighten fully. Tilt your handlebars to your preferred riding position. Now tighten the four bolts on the faceplate. The bolts need to be tightened from corner to corner in a diagonal sequence. Attaching the front wheel and mudguard. Remove the front fork dropout guard. Squeeze the V brakes together to release the cable. Take the plastic protector off the axle. Undo the bolts on the axle and move the washers out to the bolts. Insert the front wheel into the forks, ensuring the washers are still on the outer part of the axle. Insert the locking washer into the forks. Undo the nut and bolt on the front fork bridge and slide the front mudguard into position. Insert the bolt through the fork bridge, then add the spacer washer before sliding the mudguard bracket onto the bolt. Then add the second washer and bolt. Undo and take off the bolts on the axle, then place the mudguard support arms onto the axle. Then put the bolts back on and tighten. Reattach the V brakes. Inserting the saddle. When inserting your saddle, make sure it is inserted past the minimum insertion mark. Set your saddle to your desired height, then tighten securely. Attaching the right pedal. When attaching the pedal, match the R on the pedal to the R on the crank arm. The pedal tightens clockwise, start tightening with your fingers, then use the spanner provided, ensuring the pedal is secure. Attaching the left pedal. When attaching the pedal, match the L on the pedal to the L on the crank arm. The pedal tightens anti-clockwise, start tightening with your fingers, then use the spanner provided, ensuring the pedal is secure. Fitting the battery. Slide your battery into the frame, putting the bottom of the battery in first. Then push the top of the battery into the frame until you hear a click. Then lock the battery into position. Using the charger. Plug your charger into a main socket. Green light shows it is working. Then plug the jack socket into the battery. If the charger is green, this means your battery has a full charge. Power Assist Controller. When you're ready to ride, press the power button on the handlebar controller. The controller also shows how much power is in the battery. Press the power assist button to the level of power assistance you want. There are three levels, low, medium, and high. When you have finished riding, press the power button to turn off your e-bike. For more hint and tips, visit cyclingtoolbox.com.